Hi everybody, welcome to my new YouTube channel. I am Eva and I live here in Spain with my seven-year-old rescue dog, Jack. Oh boy. My 17-year-old rescue cat, Baloo. And the rescue horses of my non-profit organization here in Spain, Aston and Punky. In this first video on this channel, I thought of introducing myself to you, give you my story about how I left the rat race in Belgium and came to live in Spain, and also what you can expect from the channel in the future. My journey started about 25 years ago. At that time, I was working in Belgium and I really had enough of the daily stress with uh, my job, the daily traffic jams to go to my workplace, and above all, I must be honest with you, I had enough of those dark, cold and rainy winters in Belgium, where sometimes we would not see the sun for months because of the clouds hanging below the sun. So one day on one of our motor trips, my life partner and I decided we wanted to leave the rat race behind in Belgium. And we started to travel. We would travel around in Germany and then later in France, looking for a sunnier place, most of all, and a more relaxing environment, where there would also be a possibility for me to work and with enough space for our dogs and other animals. In Belgium, we already lived in a rural environment with our dogs, cats. I also had rescue goats and a rescued pig. And at my new place, I also wanted to have some horses at home. So you can understand, I was looking for a place in nature with a lot of land. Sadly, my partner died early 1999 and so our dream and my dream to go and live abroad went out the window. At his two years anniversary of passing away, his best friend invited me to come for a few days to a village near Alicante in Spain to clear my mind. I jumped at that chance because at that time in February it was freezing it was cold in a very dark Belgium. The change of environment for a few days was great. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, and that in February. Imagine that. Three days later, while I was at the airport waiting for my flight back, my flight was delayed, and I suddenly heard speaking Dutch and French and English and German. And that's when the, the light bulb went on in my head. As I spoke already all these languages and I have a background in law. For sure, I knew I would be able to help them with any law problem. And at the same time, I could translate for them because I already spoke so many languages. So on our next annual motor trip with friends, we drove all the way down from Brussels through France and Spain all the way down to Alicante by the seafront roads. And this gave me an opportunity to find out in which region I would like to live in Spain. It was a long trip and my patience was tested. But it became clear once we had passed Valencia and Oliva, it became obvious that my favorite spot to live was in the province of Alicante because of the incredible microclimate that we have here. The other reason was also because the sea. Uh, you can't see it probably on the camera, but I can see the sea from here, okay? The sea and the mountains are just 10 minutes driving apart. And that's just an awesome feeling for me, to be able to go either to the beach or go and do some hiking in the mountains. In the following 18 months, I flew about eight times to Alicante for five to seven days each time, 
to go and look around with realtors to pieces of land. Sometimes they had a house on it. Sometimes there was a ruin on it. Sometimes there was nothing on it. And I can tell you, if every time you come here, you do that, it's quite tiring to be driving around uh, every day, go and look for your place. And then one day I decided to stop looking. I decided that, hey, it's my last day off. I'm going <laughs> to relax a bit and just walk around, uh, walk on the beach, go and swim a little bit and just take it easy. And as they often say, when you stop looking, that's when you find it. And it's true. So the story is, is pretty funny. I was walking in the street in uh, El Campeo. I was just walking and, and looking at the windows, uh, what kind of shops were there. And uh, I walk past a very a little shop with, with only just one, one uh, window. And I heard French speaking. Now, I know nowadays it's quite normal that in Campeo you will hear uh, French. But 20 years ago, or it's even now 21 years ago, um, it wasn't that frequent that you would hear something else than Spanish because El Campeo at that time was really still uh, a Spanish village. So I said, oh, let me go and have a look. And it was uh, an immobilian shop. And I just went in and I said, hey, I heard you speak French. So I come uh, and have a look. And they asked me what I was looking for. I said, big piece of land. I need a lot of room. It has to be nature. And... Voila, they brought me here and I just knew this was the place where I wanted to live. This is my paradise. There was a little issue though. It was big. It was a lot bigger than I even needed or wanted. But the farmer said, it's everything or nothing. So my friend, who was also an investor, decided to buy this with me. And then the idea was that later on we would be selling on some of the land to others. Once home in Belgium, I prepared my house and farm to be put for sale. And at the same time, I also started an intensive course to learn Spanish. And Intensive it was. It was 20 hours per week, Monday to Friday, four to five hours, depending of the week. And I did that while I was still working full time too. Now, once my farm was put for sale, it was sold to the first visitor. And so I started to prepare myself now to make the big move from Belgium to Spain. In the next few months, I visited my family and uh, friends, everybody who was important to me um, because I wanted to let them know that I love them and I wanted to be able to say my goodbyes to them because it was unclear when I would be traveling back to Belgium and for some even if I would ever see them alive again. So I took the time that was necessary to be with them and spend with them uh, before I left. I first drove my motorbike to Spain and then later I booked a flight for my dogs, my cat and myself from Brussels to Alicante and I definitely moved in in Gijona which is near Alicante at the end of June 2003. The main house was very very old we had uh, snakes come through the floor and there were no foundations at all so i was left with no other choice than to break it down and build it up again and so while i had a team building uh, what would be a, a covered terrace while i had them there i learned by looking how they were working i learned from them how to build walls, how to make cement, how to pour foundations. And uh, so while they were there, I started to build the annex. 
And that was my first experience in building a proper building. <laughs> then it was time to start working on the house. And what happened there is in Spain, you need to have a contractor to put in the concrete frame. Uh, but apart from the concrete frame and the tiles on the roof and the help I got for the flooring in the house, I did 85 to 90% of all the work just on my own. And all this time I was living off grid. I quickly took a course in solar and wind energy systems. And in the first few years I also used a solar system and a wind energy system. But that wind turbine made so much noise during the nights when there was wind that after a few years I decided to take it out and just to make my solar system a lot stronger. As for water, at that time we already had agricultural water because it was so much land, it was also agricultural land and therefore we had a connection to the agricultural water and about, mm, I don't know, about 8 to 10 years ago we got a chance to also connect to the pipelines of the city water which we of course did just in case one isn't working, we still have the other water too. And so when I came here in 2003, uh, internet was through satellite, was with a satellite dish. Um, phone was also through a satellite dish. But nowadays, of course, we have good 4G coverage everywhere here on the land. I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear the goats. On the mountain the goats of my no 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 it's not goats it's sheep I hear the sheep of uh, a neighbor a few miles away I hear him behind on uh, the mountains with all the bells it's nature it's paradise here I just love it so much Now, on the land, um, well, as you can see here surrounding me, this is just uh, land with some pine trees on. But as for production, we do have land with uh, lots of olive trees on it. We also have a uh, lot of almond trees. Then I do have some fig trees and also some citrus trees. And as I have a non-profit rescue center here on the land. I also sow every year oats on the land so the horses would have some greens to eat for a few months a year at least as long as it rains enough for the oats to grow of course. Hey Jack? Hello boy. Hello? So what to expect from this new YouTube channel? Well, in the first place, I want to share a little bit of my life with you, showing you that we are all capable of so much. On the other hand, I also want to show you some of the work that I've been doing. But as you can see behind me, the house, the original house has been rebuilt already 18, 19 years ago. And I don't have any videos about, of that to show you. But I did buy the house of my neighbor, of my English neighbor, which is a lot smaller than mine. And also the land is a lot smaller. And that's also the place where I want to go and live in future. So on that land, I have plenty of work to do. And I will also be making some changes. So I will be showing you those videos. And further on, let's not forget, I also have that land over there in the mountains. And on that land we have a ruin, so I'll take you with me there and I'll show you around. And finally I am going to start next week with some videos that I've made recently while I was traveling in Spain with my self-converted camper van. Oh, that's something else I can show you. But the main thing is, is that I want to show you the beauty of Spain. Because I know it's paradise where I'm living, but there are a lot more beautiful uh, places in Spain and I want to share my travels with you. 
You will also see that during those travels, I help humans and animals who are in pain, who have chronic issues, by giving them a free session of advanced photonic therapy to quickly relieve their pain and make them feel better. So, if you are still here, I want to thank you for listening to my story. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. I would also love to read your comments and your questions, which I will be responding to in the upcoming videos. In the next week's video, I will take you with me on my first trip through Spain. Thank you for watching. I hope to meet you here again next week. Bye.